Yeah. This is about what does it look like inside of a garage door opener. So this is a Chamberlain Liftmaster Professional Formula One. It's belt driven. It's been giving me fits, so I'm gonna be taking it apart anyway. Thought you might want to see inside. Inside it's pretty simple. You've got a circuit board. The main gear and the motor. These are wires in the back, just for a light. Let me back up so you can see it a little bit better. Of course, you have the front housing with the light. Here's also where you make your adjustments on force and programming button. On the other side, I'll show you that in a second. Okay, here's the other side of it. There's the motor, goes through a work gear, goes to the other gear, which then comes up to the shaft up here which turns the belt which runs the track and the track attaches of course to the garage door and that's what lifts it up and down and you got your garage door spring so garage door to the track the track comes up on and it's driven by the belt to the pulley gear right here that pulley gear goes through that shaft that goes to the worm gear that goes into the motor and then the rest of it is just controlled about wind. It's going to come up and down by the electronics. And also a mechanical switch. It's sort of interesting how they did the up-down thing. So how you know when it stops, when it's up or down, is because as it moves, there's another gear in the bottom that actually moves this left and right. And you have one set of contacts here and another set of contacts here. Depending on which one it touches, it shuts it off from moving. And here we'll go and we'll try to give you a view of how it works. Okay. So I want to show you this underbody thing and you can watch how it moves for the switch when it goes down. As soon as it touches that other contact, it's going to shut off. Same thing happens when it goes back up. I'll do it one more time. Anyway, that's the inside of the garage door opener.